Hey everyone, welcome to Happy GH 4 minute videos for developers season 27 episode 3. In this episode, we are going to see how to generate JWG token which is nothing but JSON web token using Happy GH API management platform. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Happy platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Happy GH account, you can sign up at apigee.com slash edge. You need to understand the basics of JWT, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute video. Happy GH can sit in between the client and the backend system where you can able to proxy your login API and expose that as a new kind of API to the client. Let's say client makes a call to the login API and Apigee makes a call to the backend which actually contains the credentials and it can able to verify. Let's say if the call is successful if the backend returns 200, you can use generate JWT policy in Apigee Edge to generate a token and give it back to the client. Let's see it in action, how to do that within few minutes. As you can see, I'm logged in into Apigee Edge platform. Let's create an API to demonstrate the JWT token generation. Click on API proxies and then click on plus proxy on top of the screen to create a new API. Let's call this API as a login API. Select reverse proxy, click on next. Let's name this API as login API. And I'm gonna give the base path as slash login. And I'm going to use the backend as http colon slash slash http bin dot org slash post. Just a mock post API and we're going to assume that authentication is successful. We generated JWT token. Click on pass through. Click next. Choose defaults and build and deploy. Once the API is ready, we are going to attach generate JWT policy on the response to generate a token. So click on login API. Click on develop. And then we're going to add uh, the generate JWT policy to the response flow. Click on plus step and add the generate JWT to the response. As you can see, we need to supply a private key to generate JWT policy. And we are going to give some details as an additional claims. Let's say I want to give user ID as an additional claim. I'm going to get the user ID from reference that is uh, request dot uh, let's say form param dot username dot username and we need to give a private key so generally you can use a kvm and store it as an encrypted format just for the demo i'm going to use a send message policy and uh, create a simple variable called private dot key but in production you should not be hard coding it you, should, you can leverage kvm policy in an encrypted format for that that for that you can refer earlier kvm policy related for me videos so i'll say response and i'll remove everything else and uh, the name is uh, private uh, dot key and I will say the value as let's say secret one two three so that's it and once the login is successful Apigee is going to generate a JWT token let's see it in action and this particular JWT token is actually uh, put into the variable called JWT variable let's say if you want to send it back to the client I'm going to add one more assign message policy and return that in the header. So I'm going to add an assign message policy and I'll say response and I'm going to create a new header, response header. Let's say add uh, header and the header name is let's say uh, I'm going to add a header. Let's say header, header name is equal to let's say JWT iPhone token and the value of it will be the one that JWT has set that is JWT iPhone variable. So we are sending the JWT iPhone variable which is set by gender JWT policy back to the client in a response header. Let's save this API and let's see it in action. Make sure you deploy the API if it is saved as a new revision. Let's make an API call. Click on overview, take the Apigee endpoint and we're going to make an API call using Postman. So I'm going to make an API call to login and I'm going to give username as let's say Anil and let's say password as equal to let's say 1234. So we make an API call and we're going to get back the response. And as you can see the headers, there is a JWT token which is generated by Apigee. If you are interested to evaluate Apigee Edge, you can reach out to us using this link. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in commit.apigee.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues and help us spread the word. You can also subscribe to YouTube channel and stay updated if any new feature videos.